Would you like to have the ability to predict? Yes, to predict that based on certain numbers. So, for example, you go onto the street and you interview. Now, maybe you go into a room that the, all of them are mar are married, first time married, and there are thirty two of them. And what is the chances that they are the first marriage is between twenty six to twenty seven, right? That's just married. 26 to 27 so if you don't look at their face um, but I tell you that this the the average the mean of the average marriage of women is 25 years old and the deviation, the standard deviation is four years. So with these few numbers, I can tell you that how many percents, what's the chances that I will pick one and it says that my marriage is between 26 to 27. What is the chances? The answer is seven point something percent. So it's less than ten percent, but it's about seven percent. But how do I get this? Ha! Huh. You have to watch. After I go through uh, many other YouTube video, I find that this gentleman explained very very well. You watch this, and you get to know this and that and so on you and then you drag this down and finally you will get a number that is called which is right here 7.7 percent watch this video okay so now i also go through a courses on this central limitarium by the name of this the lecture and um the way he explained, for me, I couldn't understand. And in my previous method is that I always like, okay, let me just re rewatch the the, the 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 lectures with you. But no matter how many times I watch, right, it just couldn't. I just couldn't understand. But now I use the Google method. I go to YouTube and I search. The one can explain very well and easy to understand. I find this one. So I want to let you know is that don't limit to just that one lecturer or one professor. Today you live in a very uh, different world. You can Google about it. You can YouTube it. So always find the best method that helps you to understand. Okay. So don't stick to just one. If it's boring, just go find another one which is more interesting. And by doing that, you acquired the ability to predict or the chances to predict right. Because out of this group, you have seven percent, seven point something percent to predict right. So quite not quite chances right so it's like you go to this this person that asks uh is your first marriage between 26 and 27 and now you go to this one is it between 26 27 no is it 26 with 27 no is it 26 27 no is it 26 no 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 because it's only about seven percent if you draw a, a lie to it you cut this into, I mean, yeah, 
just cut this into 100 pieces, right? 7% is about less than 10%, right? So if you take 100%, so you cut into 100 pieces. 100 pieces. Yeah. Yeah, you overlay it, right? So, wow, well, that's good. Um, Let's see if I can get find one of these hundreds. Hundreds. Uh, rack. Hundred boxes. Is it something like that? No. Um, I don't have that thing. But again, right? If you have some idea, just book on it. So I was thinking of if I can just draw something like hundreds, that would be great. That uh, seems like not that possible. But seven percent is somehow that. In between that, right? So it's a very really really small percentage, 7%. Anyway, the idea for this is not to teach you what's central limit theorem. The idea is that how can you learn better, uh, helping you to understand. Don't just go for one source, multi source. This is just one great one. Thanks for watching. God bless you. God bless Aisha.